When I was growing up, and is often common, sometimes children are as smart and maybe smarter than the parents who bring them life. And that's often the case because children see and observe things that uh, we take uh, as, as normative. Well, one thing I noted when I was even seven, eight years old through the teenage years was tension between my dad and his dad. Now, I had the privilege of working together with them on weekends. We would do remodel projects, rebuild houses, because in addition to my dad's regular job, he was trying to create wealth by remodeling old homes. And my grandfather at that time was retired, and so they worked together. My granddad would be mudding and taping as we re-sheetrocked the house. My dad would take care of the plumbing and electrical, and me, I did a little of everything. And I noted that there was this tension. My dad was awful harsh and critical of my grandfather. And I just loved my grandfather because when I was two years old, he stepped in during a time in our life when my dad, through an accident, was recovering and I was deeply bonded. I remember one incident that my grandfather and I went to the supply store, the lumber store, picked up some stuff. We had it tied down on the roof of the car, coming back, and there was a gust of wind and a few pieces of the lumber blew off. My grandfather and I didn't realize it. We pulled up and my dad comes out from the remodel going over his list. He said, where's these two pieces? And my grandfather looked around and he looked at the, the little a slip from the lumber yard. It, yeah, we bought them. At, and then he saw one of the ropes on the back had come loose. And, and he said, I, I think they flew off. And my dad just looked at him and tore into him, just verbally ridiculing him. And I saw my grandfather tear up. He cried and just said, I don't know. And then he said to me, my dad, get in there with your granddad. Go back and find that. So I remember driving back. And sure enough, we found along the road about three miles back those two pieces of lumber. But what it brought to me was this awareness of tension between a father and a son. And then I began to put two and two together. I thought, why? Why would my dad be so angry at his dad? Well, my dad was an overcomer. He was one that uh, was a stellar athlete. He was the quarterback of the football team. He was the senior class president of his high school class. He even held a state tennis champ achievement. And this was something that I later learned my grandfather didn't have time, nor did he take off work to go see his son achieve those things. And it wasn't that my grandfather didn't like his son, he just never invested. And all those years, here, my father had built this up, but there's even more. My father was conceived out of wedlock and his parents went to another state to get married to avoid the embarrassment. Now, I didn't figure this out till in my teen years and then it hit me. This generational tension had meaning behind it. But here I am in the middle of this, an angry dad with his dad, and then all of a sudden trying to put those pieces together. You see, in every family, there's history. Now, not all history is pretty, but it needs to be understood at the appropriate time so that whatever can be done in reconciling and bringing those two painful times together can be addressed with depth and with heart.